In today's video, we will discuss the next topic of flow through pipes, which is flow through branched pipes. First of all, let's understand what do we mean by branching pipe system. Like, I'm having three or more reservoirs, and those reservoirs I have connected using pipes, and there will be one or more junctions. Now that type of system we call it as the branching pipe system where I'm having three or more reservoirs which I have connected using pipes. There are one or more junctions. So such a system we call it as a branching pipe system. Now these three reservoirs, as you can see in the diagram, there are different levels, the reservoir A, B and C. I have connected these three reservoirs using pipes. Now these pipes are known as my branch pipes. So these are the branched pipes. And as I told you that we are having one or more junction. So here we have a single junction and this junction I'm denoting it with D. For each of these pipes we know the length, diameter and the coefficient of friction. I'll just write here. HF1 is the head loss due to friction, HF2 for the second pipe and HF3 for the third pipe. Same way the length and diameter are L1D1 for the first one, L2D2 for the second one and L3D3 for the third one. These are the things that we know and there are some things that we don't know and we want to find it which is discharge and the direction of the flow in each of these pipes. Again I'll repeat, we want to find the discharge and the direction of flow in each pipe. For that, we'll be using the basic equations. First one that we'll use is continuity equation, which we know that the inflow of the fluid at the junction must be equal to the outflow of the fluid. Then the second one, which is the Bernoulli's equation, P by rho g plus V square by 2g plus z is constant. And the third one that we'll be using is darcy Westbeck equation. Because we'll find the head loss due to friction. So there we'll be using the darcy Westbeck equation. Also, there are some assumptions that we are making here. I'll just write all of those assumptions. The first assumption that we are making is the reservoirs are very large. Here you can see the reservoirs A, B and C. So we are making an assumption that the reservoirs are very large. Then talking about the water surface levels. So that is constant. Which means that steady condition will exist in all of the pipes. The water surface level is constant and so steady condition will exist in the pipes. So this is the second assumption. Then the third assumption is we are neglecting the minor losses because we are assuming that the minor losses are very small. The third one that the minor losses are very small so that we'll just neglect it while we'll be writing the equation then talking about the direction of flow it is clearly visible here that the flow will go from reservoir A to the junction D then from D to C but in the case of D to B whether it will go from D to B or from reservoir B to D that we are not sure. 
for that case we are assuming that the flow goes from junction d to the reservoir b but ye tabhi possible hai jab piezometric head that is p by rho g plus z wo at the junction d zyada hai compared to the piezometric head at b so we can say that when the piezometric head at d is more than the piezometric head at b then only the flow will take place from the junction d to the reservoir b now i'm writing the bernoulli's equation for the flow from reservoir a to the junction d but before i write that let me just denote the datum heads in the diagram let's get back to the diagram again here i'll just denote the datum heads this is my datum line and for a here we are having the datum head this is zd then this will be zb and this one will be zc level of water in the reservoir to the datum line that is the datum head here i'll just write zd is equal to pd by rho g plus zd now why we took this pd by rho g plus zd because for the case of pipes we'll have to consider the piezometric head also there will be friction loss that will denote it with hf then again we'll write the bernoulli's equation for the flow from junction d to the reservoir b that will be zd plus pd by rho g is equal to zb plus hf2 then we have flow from junction d to reservoir c for that we'll be having zd plus pd by rho g which is we'll have to consider the piezometric head for pipe is equal to zc plus hf3 we have got these three equations now we'll get one more equation from the continuity equation let's just write that the discharge through ad will be equal to discharge to db plus discharge to dc and that only we'll write here that discharge through ad is equal to discharge through db plus discharge through dc and continuity equation is a into v which is area into velocity area is pi by 4 d square so that will be pi by 4 d1 square into v1 is equal to pi by 4 d2 square v2 plus pi by 4 d3 square v3 because the length and diameter for the three pipes are l1 d1 l2 d2 and l3 d3 respectively then pi by 4 will get cancelled we'll take it common and it will get cancelled we'll be left with v1 d1 square is equal to v2 d2 square plus v3 d3 square this is my first equation this is the second equation and this one is the third equation this is the fourth equation here we are having four unknowns which is v1 v2 v3 and pd by rho g and also we have four equations by using these equations we'll be able to calculate the four unknowns whenever it is asked in an example so this is the case of flow through branched pipes thank you